we have got some super easy and delicious Pillsbury inspired recipes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. We have got another cookbook collab for you guys. If you are new here, I host a monthly cookbook collab where any fellow YouTuber can join in and share some recipes that come from either their favorite cookbooks or new to them cookbooks. They should have their cookbooks linked down below for you guys or if it's like a homemade cookbook, then they you know can probably type it out. Um, it just depends on for copyright reasons and respect to the author and recipe creators. But these videos just inspire you guys to dust off your cookbooks, go find new cookbooks, um, and just cook from cookbooks. We all cook from the internet so much, especially from YouTube. And um, so this is just kind of something fun that I've host um, every single month for the past. Um, I did it last year, and then I'm doing it again this year. I'm still cooking my way through the Pillsbury cookbook. I will have a picture of it here on the screen. I'm outside doing this intro. We just got home from the beach. I took a shower and I'm just exhausted and I realized I haven't done an intro for this video yet. <laughs> so I'll have my picture for the cookbook that I'm using on the screen. I will have it linked in the description box for you guys. I've had several people purchase it since sharing these videos with you. Um, it is a really, really good cookbook and it's one of the ones that I'm working my way through and I'm planning to cook every single recipe out of it. So let's go ahead and get cooking. Don't forget that there will be a playlist, a link down below, so y'all can check out um, all of the other creators that are joining in for this month's cookbook collaboration. So let's get cooking, y'all. We are starting out with some cinnamon and roll monkey bread. Now this one is a super easy, y'all. It's just a can of cinnamon rolls but it's something different compared to just your traditional opening the can up, putting it, you know, on a pan and baking it and putting the icing on top. Winston enjoyed these. So I think it's great um, to fix, you know, for kiddos, especially if you have little, littler ones, it just kind of changes up something that's normal. So you're just gonna take each cinnamon roll and cut them into fours. And then you're gonna put those in a greased either cupcake liner or just a greased cupcake pan. I have silicone liners, so that's what I like to use when I do anything with like stickiness. <laughs> um, you're just gonna take and put one cinnamon roll off, you know, the four pieces into one cupcake liner. And then I have my oven preheated at 350. And you're gonna bake these about eight to 10 minutes. You just, you know, want them to cook through, but they don't take long at all. Here is what they look like when they were all done. And then Winston wanted to put the icing on. He really enjoyed it. And like I said, these were good. It was just something different, you know, compared to your traditional cinnamon roll. And we'll definitely be making these again. Next up, we're gonna make some cinnamon roll waffle ice cream sandwiches. That was a mouthful, but these were really good. So for us, we're using lactose-free ice cream. And then of course your sprinkles, just use whatever you like. And then I've got four of the cinnamon rolls. I took that cinnamon roll pack you've seen in the first recipe and just divided it up between these two recipes. Since it's just me and Winston, we didn't need to fix a whole can for each recipe. So first you're just gonna take and cook your cinnamon rolls in a little waffle iron and just cook them through. Once they are cooked and cooled completely, you're gonna take and scoop out your ice cream. Of course, you can use whatever flavor kind of ice cream that you like. You're just gonna put it on there, put the one on top, make a sandwich, and then just roll it in whatever sprinkles you want. I didn't put enough ice cream on mine to get like a full around sprinkle like you see in the picture, but um, it was still really good and it was something different. Um, so, same thing. Sometimes you just have to change up something basic. Here is Winston giving it a try and I think as you can tell he enjoyed it. I wanted to mention too that the recipe called for the 
icing to put on top of the um, cinnamon rolls when you're done with making the sandwich but Winston doesn't like sticky stuff on his hands and he was already struggling with the ice cream sandwich to begin with so I didn't put that sticky icing on the outside of the waffle last but not least we're gonna make this peach pie bubble up now as you can see in the title it does say peach pecan pie but I didn't have any pecans so I just made it without you'll need some vanilla some brown sugar you're gonna need your peaches it called for frozen and then to thaw them and drain them but i just used can and it seemed to work just as good you need eggs some corn syrup some butter and of course your grand flaky biscuits so first you're just going to mix together your brown sugar your butter your corn syrup eggs and vanilla in a bowl just mix it together and then we will dump in our peaches now i wanted to mention that now that i have made this and tasted it i did not like the texture of how the eggs cooked up they kind of scrambled and i feel like it's because like where it's a canned biscuit it's not like say like a bread pudding where it's going to soak into the bread itself so for me when i make this again i'm not going to do it with the eggs because i honestly don't think it needs it it just needs that sugary coating on the biscuits for it to bake so i think that would just be a personal preference if you can tr if you want to try it with the eggs and see how you like it um it tasted okay i just didn't like the texture of the eggs like it kind of was just floating in the bottom and like I said it was more of scrambled <laughs> sweet eggs than it would be like putting it all together um, like I said I think it's just the difference in where it's a biscuit versus like actual you know like say stale bread when you make a bread pudding Now we're just going to dump in our peaches. I did drain those and then we're just going to mix that together. And then we're going to take and cut up our biscuits. We're going to take one biscuit and cut it up into six pieces. And then we will just fold that in and then we will put it in a greased um, baking dish and get it put in the oven. I did preheat my oven to 350 and it cooked about 30 minutes and I did have to cover it to make sure it cooked through in the middle. Here is what it looks like when it was all done i just served it with some ice cream and some caramel drizzle this definitely would be good with the pecans like the recipe calls for i'll definitely have to pick some up when i make this again but like i said when i do make this again i'm not going to do the eggs and that's maybe just a personal preference And that is it guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's Pillsbury inspired recipe video. Don't forget that this video was a open collaboration. I will have the playlist link down below. Make sure you check out all of the fellow YouTubers that are joining in for this month's collab. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.